Welcome to the Virtual Estonian Pavilion for BioDigital 2021. My name is James York and I'm the Director of U.S. Business and Innovation for Enterprise Estonia, the public agency that represents the business environment of the country. I work from the Consulate General of Estonia in New York and it's a pleasure to be able to welcome you here today to our virtual pavilion and speak about Estonia, which is my adopted home and the country that I have the pleasure and privilege of building bridges with. Today, I'm going to share with you a little bit about Estonia and its business and research environment, and give you a quick overview of the wonderful and innovative companies who are virtually exhibiting at the Virtual Estonian Pavilion right here at BioDigital 2021. So let's get started. Anytime we speak about Estonia, the first thing that we need to know is just where it is. Estonia is located on the 59th parallel just next to Russia and right under Finland. Estonia is located in Northern Europe and is very much Nordic in its culture, language, and attitude. It's larger than the Netherlands or Denmark, and at the peak of summer has nearly 24 hours of daylight, while in the winter, the sun can set as early as 3.30 in the afternoon, so definitely choose your vacation timings wisely. And with a population of only 1.3 million people, it might be surprising to know that Estonia is Europe's hub for digital knowledge and ease of doing business. With technical and digital competencies that have propelled this small Nordic nation onto the international stage, and in addition to being an EU member state, part of the Eurozone and Schengen area, and an OECD member, Estonia is also host to NATO's Cyber HQ, otherwise known as the NATO Cooperative Cyber Defense Center of Excellence. And so, it probably shouldn't come then as a surprise that Estonia is the fir world's first country to also function as a digital service. Our unique approach is to offer a variety of state services to people outside of Estonia, like registering a company online, digitally signing and exchanging encrypted documents, conducting secure online bank transfers, and making tax declarations electronically. In fact, in 2005, Estonia became the first nation in history to offer internet voting in a nationwide election. Estonia is also the first country to offer an e-residency program, which offers a government-issued digital ID available to anyone in the world. E-residency offers the freedom to easily start and run a global business in a trusted EU environment. And since launching in 2014, more than 70,000 people from more than 170 countries around the globe have applied for e-residency and established more than 12,000 Estonian companies. To give you a better sense of what it means to live in a digital society, here you can see some of our top info society indicators. For example, Estonia is a country that is covered with a broadband connection. 99% of the population has a digital ID card. 99% of the companies today are established online. And we are the first country to use blockchain on a national level. Additionally, 99% of banking is done online and 47% of the population uses internet voting. As you can see, nearly everything happens digitally, securely, and speedily in Estonia. In regards to international rankings, Estonia consistently comes up at the top. For example, in terms of the OECD Tax Competitive Index, we are number one. Digital Health Index, also number one. We're number two in terms of internet freedom, number one in entrepreneurial activity, and according to the World Bank, when it comes to ease of doing business, we're number 18 globally. But it's important to take into consideration that when they make these rankings, they factor in things like the ability to send and receive a fax. And I don't think anybody in Estonia has seen a fax in probably about a decade. <laughs> so take it with a grain of salt. Uh, and in terms of startup friendliness, number two. Now, no conversation about Estonia would be complete without mentioning our prolific startup ecosystem. Estonia is a world leader in unicorns per capita, and I like to think of it as Silicon Valley's best kept secret unicorn hatchery. Now, despite a population of only 1.3 million people, the country has been the birthplace of quite a few unicorns so far. We have Skype in 2005, which most of you I'm sure know, Playtech in 2007, Wise, formerly TransferWise in 2015, Bolt in 2018, which is actually Uber's largest competitor outside of North America, 
Pipedrive in 2020, and Zego in 2021. And with IDMe in the US having an Estonian co-founder, that brings our total tally to seven, making Estonia number one in Europe and number two globally in terms of the country with the most unicorns per capita. You might be asking yourself, just how Estonia got here? What's the secret sauce that makes it such a fertile business environment? And it would be absolutely fair to look to the education system for an answer. The skills of Estonian students rank number one in Europe, according to the OECD's International Survey, PISA. In fact, Estonian students rank first in all three domains of assessment. And in Estonia, the quality of education you receive is not dependent on your socioeconomic background which is par for the course when you realize that overall, Estonia is very much a meritocracy that nurtures innovation. So let's talk a little bit more about research and innovation in Estonia. Estonia has a broad, innovative, and diverse research landscape. Research is primarily carried out by universities as well as other public and private sector education and research institutions, and the Estonian scientific community is internationally competitive and forward-looking, with 7.7 .7 researchers per thousand people, excellent conditions for carrying out new and ongoing research projects, and with 2x growth in the number of international researchers coming to live and work in Estonia over the past decade. And our research environment is enhanced by digital and smart specializations more broadly. IT sits at the core of how Estonia runs and portrays itself. From cybersecurity to biomimetic robots and smart textiles, Estonian research has a lot to offer. Effective use of resources is also an important focus in Estonia, with new developments being driven by material science and industry, innovative construction like smart housing, healthy and functional food products and developments, and chemical industry, for example, the creation of more effective uses and methods of working with oil shale. And of course, when it comes to Estonia's healthcare system, R&D has driven a revolution in innovative e-solutions. Patients and doctors, not to mention hospitals and the government, all benefit from the convenient access and savings that e-services have delivered. Each person in Estonia that has visited a doctor has an online e-health record that can be used to track their history over time and is private and secure. Using their electronic ID card, health information is kept completely secure and at the same time accessible to authorized individuals. KSI blockchain technology is being used for the system to ensure data integrity and mitigate internal threats to the data. Estonian researchers are also some of the best in the world, according to Clarivate, who in 2020 cited 10 influential Estonian researchers as being among the world's top 1%, based on their number of peer citations. The most cited fields, according to WOS, are environmental and clinical medicine, molecular biology and genetics, biology and biochemistry, physics, and plant and animal sciences. And now that you've heard a bit about our robust and innovative biotech sector overall, let's meet the Estonian companies presenting at this year's BioDigital 2021. Antigenes. Antigenes has developed and introduced into healthcare use novel polygenic risk score based genetic tests to estimate the risk of common cancers. The polygenic risk score sums up information over hundreds to thousands of genetic variants in the human genome. By combining the polygenic risk score with a person's background, like geographic origin, age, and gender, Antigenes is able to calculate a person's risk of developing cancer and provide medical advice around prevention and early detection. By implementing precision prevention, Antigenes is working to reduce the incidence and impact of different cancers and helping patients to live a longer, healthier life. The Center of Food and Fermentation Technologies. The Center of Food and Fermentation Technologies is a CRO based on the extensive use of modern analytical methods, systems biology, and synthetic biology principles, aiming at developing innovative solutions for the food and biotechnology industry. They have a state-of-the-art laboratory and in-depth knowledge about microbial cultivation and an in-depth understanding of molecules and their behavior. Hansa Biomed Life Sciences. 
Hans of Biomed Life Sciences is dedicated to R&D and innovation in the field of extracellular vesicles. Hans of Biomed Life Sciences develops and commercializes proprietary platforms, tools, and services for EV research. With over 10 years of experience, they provide high-quality services and the widest portfolio of products dedicated to research in the EV field. Hansa Biomed Life Sciences is also a partner in several Horizon 2020 projects. Nanobot Nanobot is an award-winning creative scientific storytelling company. Nanobot transforms complex life science and medical product related concepts into scientifically accurate, easy to understand, focused visual media. Nanobot specializes in digital solutions like 3D medical animations and illustrations, scientific VR, AR, and MR, AI chatbots, remote e-detailing platforms for innovative virtual marketing, and education strategies. CureTech CureTech is a software development company founded in 2006 and are the developers of the Cure Platform Software Suite, which is intended for web-based secure health and personal data management and supporting related processes with customizable forms. Solus Biodyne. Solus Biodyne has been a trusted life science business partner for over 26 years. High quality molecular biology reagents, extensive standards for production and service have made them a recognized trademark worldwide. Being an R&D driven manufacturer gives them the flexibility and time to market speeds and leverage needed to come out with a product and solution that meets their clients specific needs. Solus Biodyne DNA polymerases, qPCR mixes and reverse transcription agents are stable at room temperature for 30 days. TBD Biodiscovery TBD Biodiscovery provides CDMO services for pharma and biotech industries worldwide. TBD develops, manufactures, and sells active pharmaceutical ingredients. Their manufacturing capacity will be increased up to 200 kilograms per batch with reactors of 2,500 liters over the next few years. TBD Biodiscovery is also one of the very few companies globally that has the know-how for manufacturing white luciferin and white luciferin K salt. Zip Prime. Zip Prime offers an all in one solution to capture, detect, and preserve rare and fragile circulating free DNA, or CFDNA molecules, at the single molecule level. Zip Prime's solution improves the accuracy and reproducibility of CFDNA based assays by capturing and tagging even a single copy of a CFDNA molecule. And with that, I would like to thank you for visiting our virtual pavilion. And on behalf of myself, Enterprise Estonia, and all of our wonderful companies exhibiting online, I invite you to come build the future together with us, right here in Estonia. And be sure to come visit in person, too, as soon as international travel is back to normal.